All right. Okay. All right. You guys wanted my opinion. I'm going to give it to you. Dr. Disrespect, a close friend of mine, we go way back, 2009 slash 2010. He started a team called Blood Blood Team, and then they played against uh, Nate Shot and my team, and they got that ass beat. Since then, Doc and I have developed a very, very good relationship. I, I, consider, uh, I consider ourselves friends. But right now, he's going through some stuff that nobody knows about. Not, I don't even think he knows about. Uh, on, on, on what's going on whether that's true or not whether he does know or he doesn't know that's not no my business therefore I won't touch on that but right now there is a, a a thing going around that if you stream and you allow this voice this voice to come through your microphone while you're streaming on Twitch you might get banned now the reason that that happens is very simply because how easy would it be for Dr. Tish respect and his endless amount of resources to say reach out to a friend like Hector Hector you don't stream how about this how about you stream and every sub that you get goes to we'll split it 50 50 that's an easy hell yeah to me right because people who uh, are fan of his who are used to seeing them on Twitch, get to still hear the voice, and essentially that is the, the 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 scenario that everybody's running into. If he's banned and he's still coming through the microphone on a, on a Twitch TV channel, then that obviously presents a little bit of a, of, of a, of a problem for Twitch because they banned him, therefore he shouldn't be on the platform. But how can they stop massive uh, personalities on their platform from streaming with a friend of theirs, especially when there hasn't been a direct... Uh, a direct reason as to a, a direct public reason as to why the man was banned. I'm not going to get into that. That's none of my business. The, the the thing that we're talking about today is whether or not people should be banned. I uh, I don't think so, right? Obviously, the the if the whole package was there, or if people were sort of uh, resignaling some of his videos or doing reaction videos to his videos on Twitch, that's something else, right? The 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 protagonist of the story on a particular Twitch channel is going to be the person that's on camera, right? Whatever voice comes on there, that's the sidekick. No matter how big, no matter how small, they are the sidekick on that specific channel. Uh, if I turn on my stream, I would probably get 500, 1,000 people watching it. So, you know, only 1,000 people out of forty-five to 50,000. I don't know how many people are, are, are watching them on, on YouTube nowadays, uh, but that's a lot. So I, if, if, if I'm Twitch, I'm going to take a little bit of a chill pill and say, okay, He's not sort of being there presently. It's, it's only 99% of his personality that's, that's being broadcasted on a Twitch channel. Again, the, the problems present themselves is when you are looking at the possibility of, of him just saying, yo, I'm going to split any sub that you get with you 50-50. Obviously, aligning yourself with a more popular personality will always benefit you in the long run. So why wouldn't a small streamer want to stream with him? If uh, people are bouncing from channel to channel on Twitch on, a, on a, any given tournament day uh whether it's a warzone tournament that he's a part of or whether it's a is a Fortnite tournament that he's a part of no matter what it is anybody that is his teammate is going to have additional viewership just on fans that are with uh dr disrespect watching him play on whatever platform he's uh, streaming from, but they're also going to want to see what his teammate is doing and what his teammate is going through in certain scenarios. So the viewership is going to go up. So why wouldn't you as a young streamer or a, young, or, or a small streamer knowing that your viewership is going to you know, increase if you play with him, why wouldn't you want to take that risk, right? Uh, risk getting banned? Go to YouTube. I don't know. Bottom line is, is that until Twitch is ready to give out any information as to the reason of the ban or until Dr. Disrespect himself is willing to come out and say whether he knows or doesn't, that, that, again, none of my business. I'm just talking about the facts. Until Twitch is ready to come out and say the reason why this is happening or the reason why he got banned or why the reason is that they are choosing to maybe ban people that he plays with, we need to know a reason. Otherwise, it's fair play, fair game. Unless it's very, very obvious of what's happening, okay? So if in the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks I'm streaming a lot and the voice that you hear on the other side is Dr. Disrespect, then guess what? Look into it because more than likely we're splitting a little something-something on the side. Now I can't do it, Matt. But that was actually a pretty good business proposition, Dr. Disrespect. Bang my line, goddammit. You know it. You can't stop texting me, trying to pitch stuff to me all the time. Just kidding. Blah, blah, blah. Violence, momentum, somewhere else, buddy. Back to the box you go.